Hi there, this is Tracy, and I finally figured it out. For years, everyone I met that had heard about my epic divorce told me that I should be writing a book. They told me that because it was so bad that the judge actually called it one of the most tortured cases that, he, that has come across our, the bench in our town. I couldn't see what had happened from the outside because I didn't know about narcissists until just a few months ago. And now I see why anyone would care. I kept saying, why would anyone want to read a book about my divorce? Because it was like so crazy, but I didn't know. And now I know. My grand finale epic divorce. I learned a lot. And it cost me $100,000. I was beaten. I was tested. I was pushed. I was accused, I was lied to, I was stolen from, I was lied about. This narcissist and his Adam's family, you know, crazies wanted to bury me alive and, and I did nothing. I did nothing. So he was the one who wanted a divorce. He was the one that had a plan and never ever spoke to me about it. Never even told me that he was unhappy. That's just weird, and that's very narc. That's when they drop you like a hot potato and you don't know what happened. I have a perspective of watching the most amazing law lawyers battle against like the worst sharks that you could possibly imagine. And so they had sharks in two different states. They had sharks on the east and here in Colorado. So I know what I was advised to do and I know how to protect myself. And I also saw what real money could buy. They could hire people to lie, fight, and um, to, to play victim to some gold digger when they knew that I was the responsible one. And I never wanted or liked taking anything from them. I wanna share with you that epic narcissism divorce with the advice that I was given. And it was really smart. We never expected this, but I have tips to share. And this series that I've decided, I've broken it up into eight parts because when I started to look at the things that I wanted to talk about, which would be how to choose a lawyer, I have a great idea. I have a great tip. It was a very, very cool thing that I was taught. Subscribe to my channel and watch this series unfold. The next one, we'll be talking about um, the first things you have to do when you decide or find out that you're having a divorce from a narcissist. I mean, like right this freaking second, you're gonna wanna do these things. That's the next one. I'm gonna upload it right after this. I made it a few hours ago. So here you go. Welcome to my divorce, the epic narcissist. Thank you.